Hi, Phil Aston here from nowspinning.co.uk. As promised, here is another video looking at the career of Rick Derringer. Uh, we looked at in the earlier video at the Derringer box set on Cherry Red Records. This one, also by Cherry Red, is the companion box for his solo albums from 1973 to 1980. This contains four albums in total, and to me, it's essential stuff, especially if you like the other one. And this out of the two boxes is probably the one I play the most. So let's have a look inside the box. Here it is. Rick Derringer. It's called Joyride Solo Albums 1973 to 1980. It's from Cherry Red and it's on the HNE Recordings label. It contains um, All American Boy from 73, Spring Fever from 75, Guitars and Women from 79, and Face to Face from 1980. Inside, you'll find the albums themselves. The first one, All American Boy, is in a single card. They haven't duplicated the gatefold, but the gatefold basically was a big picture of, of Rick Derringer, and that's the image that's in the middle of the gatefold. Um, this is his classic record. I think this is a perfect record in many ways. It covers everything. It covers his guitar, hero, um, material, um, like Joyride, Jump, Jump, Jump. It also contains his pop rock stuff. It contains his classic trademark tracks like Rock and Roll, Hoochie Coo. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 album and it's one I play a lot. It's worth, uh, I've got this on vinyl, but it's worth tracking down if you become a, a huge, huge fan of this guy. The next one, the marketing people were just really focusing on his on his looks, I think, and his face here. Uh, very glam for the period, 1975. This one, I don't have on vinyl, and is probably the one I play the least. Um, I'll cover, I'll, we'll go over more stuff in when we look through the booklet, but that was from 75. Guitars and Women from 79. This was coming straight after If You Weren't So Romantic I'd Shoot You from the Derringer period. And I said in that video that it was very much sounds like he was listening to a lot of cheap trick as they were recording in the room next door during that album uh, was being made. This follows on from that. Um, and again, there are many tracks on here that you could imagine um, cheap trick doing. And the final album in this box is Face to Face. And this is my favorite Rick Derringer album of all time. Um, this is the one where, for me, everything came together. This is not like the pop rock stuff or the almost heavy metal stuff or the live stuff. This is melodic rock and everything, his songwriting, his playing, his singing, everything to me came together on that album. Included, just like the other box set, is a nice little booklet which has some memorabilia, some uh, album covers. It goes through the fact all the people he played with. I mean, I, I, one of my favourite live things he ever did was when he played with Cindy Lauper in the 80s. Um, Hang On Sloopy was re-recorded for, um, for the second album in this box. And I think... The thing is with the, the second album, to me, it feels a little bit kind of unbalanced compared with the other stuff, really. This is the inner sleeve for Face to Face, which was on the American version, not the English one I've got. Joyride there, cover. And then we've got um, the track listings from each CD. The essay is from Malcolm Dome from 2017, and it's very interesting and well written, as Malcolm's stuff always is. Each of the CDs contains uh, mono and single edits. As I said, All American Boy is a classic album. Spring Fever, to me, not so much. It just doesn't quite gel. There's some good rock songs on there and some stuff he did on the live Derringer stuff, but it's not the one I play the most. Guitars and Women, yes, I play that a lot. Um, it Must Be Love has got a fantastic riff and it is so much like Cheek Trick. Um, but there's some great pop songs, as I said, on there and rock songs. Um, you know, for those of you thinking he feels saying the word pop a lot, it's it's just power, power rock. Uh, but imagine Cheap Trick. It's 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 enthusiastic. It's positive. It's uplifting. And it's Rick Derringer. But face to face. Wow. 
This is a great album, Runaway. Um, you could imagine being done by various 80s rock bands. Big City Loners, Burn the Midnight All is a brilliant track. Jump, Jump, Jump. Um, I Want to Love Her. But the one that really, really brings it home to what this guy was about is his cover of the Neil Young classic, Hey Hey, Out of the Blue. That is a live track. God, I'd love to hear the rest of the, the, the tracks from that gig wherever it was recorded um and his guitar playing especially at the end when he pulls on the treadmill arm it's just absolutely fantastic so that's joyride a great little box set for rick derringer and if you get this and the derringer box set you've got a fantastic overview of this highly underrated guitarist and performer's Output. That's Joyride by Rick Derringer from Cherry Red Records. Great little booklet, four CDs. As I said there, they're all great albums, but especially face to face. So if you're very new to this artist, uh, or you feel that it's one of these artists you should have known more about, check out Face to Face. Uh, uh, that, that to me is the album, but also All American Boy. That is his classic album so thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to all of you who've signed up as patrons and or supporting me via paypal just go to the now spinning website and check, click on the membership button to find out more about how you can how you can help and get involved but thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you on the next one thank you <laughs>